What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Wow, this thing fired immediately. Are you guys ready for the ridiculousness? Mike is apparently getting a drink still. I don't know how long it takes him, but here we are. Here we are. I have no idea what to take here. Our last, our last, our first few efforts, as you guys may have noticed, uh, have not been as fruitful as I'd like. So this is this is our three O. This is our three O adventure. Um, nothing nothing here is even like super uh, standing out to me here. I'm tempted to take Rhythm of the Wild just again because it's like it's new to the queue and I don't know how it will perform. Pool is also uh, very high on my list as well because they're two colors that I uh, enjoy quite a bit. I'm tempted to just take this rhythm. Yeah, let's try rhythm. I don't know how it's going to perform. I have no idea how it's going to do, so. Uh, Vraska, interesting. Thragtusk, interesting. Legion War Boss. Big man, big drink. That's what they say. We can't get much worse today, so it's a good time to try. I don't know if I... Uh, agree with that that strategy, but I mean, unfortunately, keep in mind the tokens that War Boss creates are not going to get they're not going to have Riot. Riot is non-creature, or non-token rather, so However, that being said, I still think War Boss is fine and it keeps us on color <laughs> I mean, it's still good, I'm still going to take it I like Glorybringer for a similar reason Wicker Ballad are getting two counters to, to destroy two things is also pretty sweet. However, Mystic Confluence in this pack is really tempting. Tell me if we stay on color or if we Legion War Boss. I'm gonna stay color. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna. St oh, Carnage Tyrant with uh with haste. Rampant growth also seems pretty decent, but I think we that's more replaceable than Carnage Tyrant. Let's just take the Carnage Tyrant, and we'll try to be like red green. And we'll just pick up some ramp stuff. Do y'all think goose poop is safe for dogs to eat? I've got about 50 geese living out back, and my dog won't stop trying to eat the poop. <laughs> oh Lord. You know, Jacob, I don't know. Bayou. God, I love Woodfall. I love Woodfall Primus. That is one of my favorite uh, payoff cards. Windswept Heath, also not too bad. Dragon Lord of Tarka, also not too bad. Both of these are pretty... Dragon Lord of Tarka with Haste is actually pretty insane. Also, Woodfall Primus with with pers with a uh, riot. That's pretty nuts, right? Green Sun Zenith. This feels like a Green Sun Zenith deck. Deranged Termit could be decent. Ulamog. Ulamog's pretty sweet. Probably just gonna take Green Sun Zenith here. We have no reason to, to go into Tropical Island yet. But if we get like, uh, yep, Sinister Crow Tribal seems fine. Huntmaster also super super nice. Oh yeah, there's no moth. It's just Mike's Mike's Mike. I can think of five poops that are worse for your dog. Number two will surprise you. Wow. Uh, it's one of these two. I really like Huntmaster, but I think we're gonna take the Tribe Elder. Oh, Tireless Tracker? Oh, that's gas. That's gas. I don't foresee Huntmaster wheeling, but it's stranger things have happened. The Breeding Pool came back. That's pretty nuts. Fertile Ground. Probably going to take the Fertile Ground. 
Uh, Virgil's gear hook is cool, but I'm not going to pass Fertile Ground a second time. Huntmaster does seem real good. I just want to be able to cast our 6 and 8 and 5 and X spells. Ooh, Vraska is nice, which we can cast off of both Fertile Ground and Tri-Builder. Yeah, I think Vraska is definitely more powerful than Explore here. Actually, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely possible the red-green is not as popular here. Mike took his sweet time. How'd you go to the bathroom? Oh, sweetie boy went to the corner store while he was gone, I guess. If you know what I mean. It means he was pooping. Also resting my butt for a while. On the toilet seat? No. Uh, I think we take Wicker Battle Elder here. I think this effect is better than uh, than just having a random hissing quagmire. Especially with Riot, with Rhythm of the Wild where we can get two counters on this guy. It was the oh, that, that's not how that works, actually. You get negative counters on it. It's, it's, the, op it's the actual opposite. Uh, this is the same thing as Vraska here. Like, we could just play either one of them. Oh, Bayou, though. Oh, but also Aviston. Like, both of these are ways to play the two cards that I'd we have. I'd rather play a Vraska than a Johnny. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, but Aviston's Pokemon is a card we can actively play in our deck and ramp us. Oh, whatever, I'll take the Bayou. Oh, Deranged Tournament. Oh, wow, Rampaging Bellas is great. And just like always, no one's playing green. That usually is how it goes. I like that she laughed at that. That's pretty funny. What do we got here? Green Warden? Oh, we can take this Vraska. We can have Dubs Vraskas. Also, we currently don't have anything to really get back with Green Warden. It's also six, and like if we're playing this Vraska, we already have three sixes. I'd rather just have this Frasca because it's kind of cool to be able to like we're going to have we Legion War Boss tokens we'd have Deranged Hermit tokens like we actually have a bunch of things that we could potentially sacrifice it's also a sacrifice outlet for Woodfall Primus if we want to uh, trigger it with Rhythm of the Wild and just have it come back for free I kind of like having this Frasca again it's a new card that we can try out same thing with Rhythm we're playing uh, playing two Rav oh Vivian Reed Vivian Norman Reedus. Oh, Plow Under, though. Man, they made a few Vraska since I took my break. Yeah, two of them. They're right here. God, there's Blood Blade, Blood Blade Prow, Prow Under, and Vivian. Wow, I, that was amazing. Blood Braid? And Prow Under. I love Blood Braid. Me, Blood Braid. All right, we're done. Yeah, there was a dual deck one, too, but I don't really consider that one a Vraska because no one's going to play that. I think it's just Blood Braid. I really just like... Oh, really? I was going to say Rivian Reed. Hmm. Please, no. Hmm. No one thinks like that. Hmm. <laughs> Some people do. I think Plow Under is just insane. It's Plow just, Under is pretty good. I, all right, I'm going to take Vivian Reed. I'm going to take Vivian Reed. I think one of those cards will likely come back. Blood Braid, They're Plow Under, or... Back. Yeah, no one appreciates Plow Under in the cube. Until you get Plow Under. And then you're like, wow. It's birds not close? I agree. I disagree with you. I think it's quite close. And, uh... That's I mean, birds is good and all, but... It's your boy. Oh, a little Refius. Who? Refius? A little Refius? N nothing you said is correct. Yeah, we're definitely taking Rufio. Captain Citrus, huh? Yeah, bro. Captain Citrus. Bro. Why is that a thing? Why are you a thing? Because I was born. <laughs> God. To the regret of everyone, am I right? No. People love me. <laughs> Look, How if dare chat you? says it isn't close, it isn't close. I guess that's true. I didn't even think about that. I don't think we're a deck that needs one mana dorks per se. I, th I think we need mana dorks in general. I think we want ramp from like two to four or five, but I, I mean, like we're not like super hurting for three drops here. We have three, three drops. They're all great, but 
I'm not oh, like yeah. super con- what that statue's two thousand dollars oh yeah that's Thanos on the throne that's been sold out for a while it's a good one these are the different ones but actually Thanos is actually eleven hundred so but yeah it's pretty nuts it's very expensive I'm gonna get this Sylvan carry added over nothing yeah okay. nothing really harmonize maybe would have been nice oh stomping ground is great goes with our goes with our boo you but there's also a beast with them. that doesn't matter to me really what do we need to go like what are we killing with this anything okay so we have woodfall primus do that Vraska, vivian reed Vraska, wicker bow elder like we have a lot of ways to just remove random permanents that are not creatures Right, but that I, beast within creatures. This is a dual land. It's a mono green dual land. It's a mono green dual land. It means you, I mean, I'm trying to say you can play. You can cast. You can still play Rafellos. You can still. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, you stupid Mitch. Well, no, I do now, but I'm gonna take Tarasus on. I don't know if mono green dual land is just a good word to say. It wasn't. I was just trying to. I'm talking and streaming and talking to you, and you're saying dumb things, and I'm trying to. I think he did. Lightning bolt straight to the heart. Rootbound craggles. That's probably, be better. That's gotta be better than, better than Avenger, right? What? Have you ever played an Avenger? Yes, but look, dude, we have no fixing, and we're playing three colors, dude. Why is that? Why is Avenger more important than Carnage Tyrant, Rampaging Bailout, Terastodon, and Woodfall Primus that are already in our deck? No, get out of here. You're dumb. I'm sorry, but you're dumb. You're being dumb. You're... What are you doing? Why? You... I can't. I can't with you. Why would he drop Glorybringer? Oh, the Bronto Don did red. come back. Glorybringer is double red, so that is a consideration. That is a consideration. Glorybringer is double red. See, what? <laughs> When I actually say something important, you just do that, so it doesn't matter. Do you think that was important? Yeah. Huh. We already have Vivian Reed, um, Vraska, Wickerbow Elder. Elder, for other Vraska, and Woodfall Primus <laughs> to deal with artifacts and enchantments. I think we're just going to take the Green Warden here. Oh, oh, we actually... Wow, that was good. We I double. I went to double-click on wow that was amazing i went to double click on the green warden it accidentally double clicked on the bird because the time had run out almost exactly and we got the bird of paradise that's insane i didn't even know there was a bird in that pack yeah that was when we passed earlier everyone was like you passed a bird of paradise i think bird is better than green warden actually they were in, no they were in two different packs we got the green warden the next pack had bird of paradise in it you mean you play that piece with him? What, are you crazy? Oh my God, kill me. That's what we're looking for. That's the that's the payoff. Uh, Frostodon does not seem great in the mono green deck that's making like five creatures with deranged hermit and creatures with Garrick and creatures with Vraska and creatures with Bailoth. Is it too late to go into blue? Yes. Because that is an opposition with... A hermit. I just take the tooth and nail, man. We're just tooth and nailing. Okay. You win. I win? What did I you win? win? You won the... The sweepstakes? Yeah, the sweepstakes. I knew it, dude. <laughs> You're going to get a $1,000 check. It's going to be one of those big, giant ones, too. I think we disagree on what this deck is. I mean, maybe. What do you think it is? Because I think it's a deck where we're playing a bunch of green creatures like this that are ramping us into five and six drops. Oh, also through the breach. That seems real good, right? Through the breach, Green Warden gets you a card back. You get to a swing, and then when it dies, you get another another card back. You can get through the breach back. Um, through the breach on Woodfall Primus is fantastic. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking through the breach here. You and played so many through the breaches today. You're right. Did he just reference Publisher's Clearinghouse checks? Did I? I don't think I did. Oh, Abrupt <laughs> Decay. Oh, Gaia's Cradle? 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Mike's getting the vapors. Ooh. 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 <laughs> it's good. Fan yourself. Yeah, we're just taking cradle here. Uh, we we definitely have fixing. We have Fertile Ground, Birds of Paradise, Sakura Tri Builder, Sylvan Carry added. Like, I mean, with Bayou and one Swamp, this is six sources of black for two black cards. Like, that's totally fine. Yeah, I, I actually think we're taking Overgrown Tomb here. We already have four to five. Um. Oh no, oh god, don't crash because I accidentally dragged the Bayou off the edge. Are you got? You have to be kidding me. I can't, oh my god. Guys, I want to be clear that I think the client is crashing because I actually put the bayou off the, the bayou went to the edge. It went too close to the edge. So uh, <laughs> I don't get wow. to pick any more cards. Well, that's going to definitely miss our overrun team now, which is fantastic. I really like this draft. I thought that we were doing really well. And now the new one isn't even popping up. This is ridiculous. Holy smokes. All right. Oh my God. Do I seriously have to go? This is ridiculous, dude. Welp. Not responding. Yes, clearly. Ugh. Crying out loud. What is happening right now? This is ridiculous, dude. Yes, log off and close it. Wow. Why is it still down there? This is ridiculous. This is not. This this is literally what you're going to do. My whole computer is like... Oh, my God. Hey, maybe our deck is good enough already. Uh, it's still on the thing. Okay, let's end that. Let's retry it. I think it's just, oh, oh. Xenagos, okay. How are there still picks left? I have no idea what we got. We got a Hazaret. Oh, we got a Rattleclaw Mystic. That's actually pretty decent. Good for us. Um, Terastodon, you were on the sideboard, you were on the side. Thunderbolt, Hellkite, and Glorybringer. I mean, we already knew what's Glorybringer, but. All right, I guess not terrible. I don't think we need Ancient Grudge. I think I'd rather just have the Xenagos. Which is a playable dude. <laughs> Opposition tables. Acidic Slime, also pretty Good solid boy. here. Especially with Green Sun Xena. Uh, Frostodon, let me thin. Didn't we already have an Ajani? We already had that Ajani. That Ajani was yeah, like yeah. from the beginning. 
Uh, it's probably just a six line here, right? Yeah. Knight of... Oh, we're not white, though. Oh, um... No, we don't have any way to splash white. Yeah. Let's take Awakening Zone. Obstinate Bailoth seems fine. Lotus Cobra! We did it, boys! We wanted the Overgrown Tomb. We did not get the Overgrown Tomb, but we did get the Lotus Cobra, which is almost the same as taking the Lotus Cobra. None of these cards matter, right? Nykthos. Okay. We need three cuts here. I have two dragons on the sideboard. That's pretty cool. I want to play one of those dragons. Tried to resize draft window first pick Tangle Art. What? I don't think we care about deranged tournament. I'm going to be honest. You might want to play one of them. They're both yeah. double red and also we really need to make cuts more than play more things. I think we can cut Xenagos. I don't think he's that good. Really? Yeah. Or Legion War Boss. Like, that's... me. Yeah, but they're both very good with Vraska. We just make guys and sack those guys and they're also very good with Guy's Cradle. I mean, we can probably take Rampaging Bailouts out. Yeah, but we kind of need payoffs for Tooth and Nail, right? I mean, do we not have those with, like, these five? I would cut Greenworn. Like, we don't have that many things to get back. Well, things die, right? Like, I mean... Getting back even, like, through the Breach. Even though, it's like, through the Breach, getting Green Warden, getting a card back, Green Warden dying, getting through the Breach back, that seems even... that Even that seems really good. What about Elder in the board? I like that, actually. That seems good. I think we just actually... All right, keep in mind, guys, that War Boss, the tokens are not going to get Riot. It's Riot as non-token creatures. I think I think everyone keeps thinking that... Um, <laughs> that... That all the tokens are gonna get riot. Oh my god! If tokens can get riot, that'd be so busted. Yeah, I think it's it's very understandable why this does not give tokens riot. Um, I think we can just play sixteen lands actually with all of this. Yeah, we can probably get away with sixteen. No port. Leave me alone. Leave me and my family alone. Uh, we want one of each of these. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is sixteen. Yeah, that seems fine. Done. Oh, that was quick. Wow, I can't believe, like... I can't believe like, the magic line crashed because I I pulled a bayou too far from the edge. And it's you know about what to break. About <laughs> Tell me. Too far to the edge? Won't. Won't make it midge. I know, you're just going to make some rhyme Won't. up. Yeah, but Medge is... I could have done better than okay, that. Okay, then do it then. No one's stopping you. It's too late. You already killed it. I killed it. You killed it. Why don't you come up with it anyway if you're so good at it? Uh, I don't need to prove anything to you, okay? Yes, you do. I don't need to prove nothing to you. Not even you one You need thing. to prove everything to me. I will not. I'm your father. You're not my dad. Prove it. Okay, I'll get my birth certificate. Okay, go get it. Well, not right now. Oh, oh it's too. No, I don't want to get it right now. Oh, little tribals. I want to see the original long form mic certificate. That's actually true. I don't know. Where's my wicker bell now? Wicker bell? Bow? Bow? Where's my wicker bowel? What? Hmm? Hmm? I'm just going to get a forest. I'm going to get all the forest because of raffles. Actually, I need to go dig up my own birth certificate. Really? Just as like a, just for like a hobby? Yeah, a hobby. Just for like a hobby. Oh, man. You called it. I wanted to play rhythm, but I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it. 
Wait. Next turn we can give him haste though. So we can go one, two. We'll have four lands. We play rhythm this turn. Next turn we go haste, haste. I guess this is not netting us mana, but we can go one, two, haste, add four, five, six, and then green warden. Yeah, I kind of like that. What does the rhythm of the wild sound like? Mike, please show me. You heard it first, folks. The rhythm of the wild, courtesy of Michael B. Also, if you guys didn't know, Mike is doing a lot of the sound effects for the new MTG Arena cards. So, uh, you guys can hear that. Yeah, you can hear me when I go, I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> I'm sorry, who, why are you <laughs> saying that? Why are you mentioning that you like them big and chunky? You don't know that song? I don't. What did they do? Oh, they got rid of my rhythm. Wow, that's aggressive. Oh, now I'm going to get rid of their Stoneforge. They got rid of his rhythm, but then he got rid of their mystic. Garrick Relentless, coming to a theater near you. Now you're going to regret not putting... Sword of Body in Mind, that was pretty friggin' terrifying, though, I'll be honest. Thankfully, this Garrick makes black wolfums, but as soon as they go flyer into Sword of Body and Mind, I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like the... I'm going to be like... Oh, well, never mind then. I guess in my face. If we can draw land, we can go Legion War Boss into Raffellos. We did draw the land. So I can go Raffles into Warbles. Raffles into Warbles. Also, this guy makes great blockers for the for the sword too so how much mana is this 10 mana next turn tooth and nail daddy needs a tooth and nail daddy needs a new caddy daddy doesn't have an old caddy you don't know me you don't know my auto collection <laughs> oh man courser keep it on top are you going to just keep this Courser on top? What's the verdict? Oh, Brimaz. Okay, Courser gone. You get to keep a Brimaz. Big Brims, as his friends refer to him. We can get Garrick and then shoot this. Attack for like a million. And then get Garrick back again when he dies. It's a lot of Garricks, if you know what I'm saying. Or we can just draw... It's Damn. at least two Garricks. Well, it's three kind of the first time we play it. What is this? Garrick. You're going to... That's very rude. That's pretty rude, yeah. Gary! It's only being through here, right? No. No, oh, that's unfortunate. You think you know a dude, and then they're like, hey, I'm going to get rid of your guy. And I'm like, oh no, don't do it. But then they do it anyway, and you're just like, what? What? I don't understand. Why. So we know Sword is in your hand, and Brim has is on top yeah 100% use that ability my, bro, my, my dude well that guy's got to get in there so I guess we're doing that are you ready for the for the beefcake for the beefcake <laughs> that's what I'm asking what does that man? mean don't cough man don't die I can't die yet you can't die yet yeah why not because the future needs me the future needs you mm -hmm. does it yeah if we just make a wolf here like if we attack they're just gonna block right but I kinda wanna get this guy off the board we know this is their hand yeah, I'm just going to kill it. Q 
get off the board. Oh, they're going to pay a cost. I see. Well, that's terrifying because now they just get to put a thing on it. And uh, that's like the perfect thing you could have ever had. We know two of the cards in your hand. Of course, that's the other card. That's just how it goes today. Now you get to equip your sword to this guy and attack oh, us. Basically did. With your sorted guy. I mean, I guess we get like one draw to hit like tooth and nail. But otherwise, feels bad, man. <sighs> I just happen to have an instant speed flyer. Seems so bad. For us. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yep, to the surprise of no one. Fingers crossed that uh, the, the Tooth and Nail is the 11th card in the deck, I guess. And he doesn't mill our targets as well. Yeah, but other than that... Oh, look, it has Vigilance too. Fantastic. I guess we also have Vraska that we can hit. And... Alright, no Tooth and Nail. No Vraska. Well, that Vraska, but not the other Vraska, which is... It's gonna be a land. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it never ends, man! So now we go to six cards. Like, we're not dead, but like we might as well be. Oh, man. I mean, by swingy, you mean they've always had the answer, and they've kind of just let us feel like we were kind of in it even though they we were never in it I'm not going to concede if there's literally a chance we could top deck a tooth and nail or a Vraska and get rid of the sword and we're still in it so I mean like there's no reason to do that I mean oftentimes I concede way too early and this is a chance where like they mill us for, for 10 we still have 6 cards in our deck sure That's a weird. Hmm. Fascinating. Wait, why would you? This is really interesting because we get to we get to get anything back with the Green Warden. Um. Vraska to deal with this? Sure. So we carry a tireless tracker through the breach. No. Green Sun Zenith. No. Oh, Avison's going to trigger, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we're not dead, but our whole board is pretty much dead, and we can't one, two, three, four. We basically can't tooth and nail anymore. So, <sighs> actually, no. This Vraska kills this Avison though, so that's interesting. And then they have, oh, but then we just die to like stirring wildwood slash needle spires. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's just pro green, yeah. So I mean, like, this just doesn't work out for any way, any in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yep. Cool. Wow, it's amazing how one card just happened to have one card is just we can't. You just can't win the game now, I guess. Well, I'm gonna bring in the beast within, much to your uh, mm -hmm. much to your pleasure, I'm sure. Same thing with Wicker Ballad, or I just want to have multiple multiple answers for that card. And take Your swords are stupid. Terastodon. Yeah, we'll take out through the breach for now. Wake up, Mike. I'm always awake, but also always asleep. Oh, yes. 
Oh yes, this is the hand. Michael like it. I do like it. And I am Michael in this situation. Why is that? That's how the universe works, Michael. Nope. Cyber Gooey, have a good night, buddy. Oh, Billy Biscuits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't kill my board with a little thing. It's just an explorer. I don't care about that thing. Don't kill my roof alone with a thing. Things and things and ruffles too. And singing it. It's a song I wrote. One, two, three, good. four, five, six. So we can play Xenagos and Carry Added. Or we can play Vivian Reed. I think it's Xenagos and Carry Added. And then next turn we have Tooth and Nail, right? Because this is six and then seven. Yeah. Yeah, next turn we're Toothing and Nailing. Unless they go Wrath of God, in which case that would be amazing. I'd be really impressed. In before Wrath of God. In before Wrath of God is right. Yeah, if they're in there, if they have Wrath of God in their three color deck. Miracle Terminus. <sighs> I'm waiting for it. It just feels like today, like everything that could have gone wrong has so far, so. Here we go, paying the cost. Okay, that is not Wrath of God, and we think we just win the game. So you make what? Uh, number of creatures, you make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're literally one shy of of rhythming and tooth and nailing to give them haste. That's sad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need Couldn't five, read, though. six, seven, eight. Wait, no. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Tw yeah, we need twelve. What'd you say? You could rhythm and read on this turn instead. Rhythm and read. I'm pretty sure Tooth and Nail just wins us the game, right? Probably. I mean, we just get like Woodfall Primus and. Some other big idiot. Baleful, whatever. Landfall guy. Baleful Landfall guy. Mm -hmm. Rampaging Baloth? Yeah. Baleful Landfall Guy. I'm trying to remember what's in our deck. We took Terastodon out. Um, oh, we did? Yeah. So we'd have Woodfall Primus and... Carnage Tyrant? It's probably just Rhythm Rhythm Vivian Reed's probably better, right? Yeah, we can tooth next turn. Yes, we can add four mana with Xenagos. Which is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I like. Oh, I like. To, no, we're tooth and nailing for Green Warden. Oh yeah. Green Warden would fall Primus. You ready? I want you to be ready. Say okay. you. Say you're ready. I'm ready. God. Swear to me. No. Would fall green warden. Would fall it be nice if in the garden you would The Garden? Dang it. What are we killing here? I don't I actually don't care about Gideon. I think I'd rather just hit like needle spires to keep them off their white. And I'm gonna just get my tooth and nail back if that's okay with you. And we're just gonna go to game three, I think. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> that's Tooth and Nail's a hell of a drug, my dude. That is a pretty good card to win the game with. Have you ever won the game before, Michael? No. Never. I've never won a single game of Magic in all my whole life. I know. Oh, man. That's really sad that you never won a single game of Magic in your whole life. Not a single shingle wingle. A single shingle wingle? Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep any hand with a Rafelos in it on turn too. I'm just gonna... That's a good call. Thank you! You're not welcome. Oh, that's rude. That's rude. You can even start the party with Bird the body. Bird of Paradise. Dang it. 
I don't like starting with Bayou in case they have like any Worst sort of land. Yeah, anything really that just kills a land. You have to protect it, Michael. You have to protect it. Okay, well, here we go. Yep. Saw that one coming. Oh, that's a good hit. That's that's a good hit. Father likes it. Now stop it. <laughs> My father is gone. And he's never coming back. But when he returns, he will like it. He's not coming back, Michael. You know how I know? Because I'm your father. Oh, wait, hold on. How much do we have here? Okay, we need the black for the Vraska for sure. So we have six mana. We can play Rattleclaw and Vraska here. That seems pretty good. Put that in the trash can and play Rattleclaw to protect. Yeah, now we're doing it. Do you even know what do you even know what it feels like to win games of magic, Michael? I told you no. Oh yeah, that's right. I just wanted to rub it in. Never ever, never, ever, ever, never. What? So never ever, never, never, never. Yeah, this is a block. Do I, hmm, do I want to keep Vraska? Or no? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think we save slime for the... No, I think we, we play Lord. slime, then we can sacrifice it, and then we can green warden it back. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, we do. We have a good deck. One, two... This is eight mana, right? So we can play... Oh, we can't do both, though. Oh, what we can do is Xenagos... Add one with Xenagos. And then add four with Rafelos. Play this dude. Get rid of your stupid idiot land. Stupid idiot. And we'll hit a Lotus Cobra. What's her plus? Her plus is you may sacrifice another permanent if you do gain a life and draw a card. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this guy adds 10 mana. Well, it adds 5, and then we have 5. Yeah, well, we're just going to make a token here. We should just go get um, the 8 drop and kill one of the lands. Call it a day. Yeah, you're probably right. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we need one more, right? No, cost eight. Okay. No, it's X. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, actually, we just killed their... Then we Vraska. We Vraska the, the Woodfall Primus, draw a card, and then kill their other planes. They've conceded. We've won the game. That was Not good. Bad. We did good. Why I draft anything other than green and cubes is beyond me. That's how we do it. It's the lesson you learn every time you cube. It literally every time because I'm like, clearly the blue cards are going to be better, right? Damn, we already know who's alive and dead. Right. I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this hand seems fine. Lotus Cobra is good. Oh, Lotus Cobra. No, doesn't doesn't work. Dang it! I was like, Lotus Cobra lets us play a a tracker and also gain a clue on the third turn, but that's not how that works. Let's just draw a bird. <laughs> that ain't bird at all. But still a good draw. But in the future, right? Yeah. 
in the kind of world where we belong. This is the Beach Boys. You ever heard of the Beach Boys? I've heard of Johnny Beach Boy. Yeah. Oh, really? You've heard of Johnny Beach Boy? <laughs> yeah. Because he's been dead for 900 years. That doesn't mean I haven't heard of him. Oh, you're right, I guess. Dang it, you're so smart. 900 years. He's been dead for 900 years. What is that shit, bird? Look at this little weirdo snake. Let you play lands from the graveyard. Man. I know what he does. You know what he does, too, because you're a commander dude. Get a load of the commander bro over here. I dribbled some water onto myself. <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't nobody surprised by that. I really want to land next turn because I want to be able to play this Garrick, and also I want to be able to get a clue. I'll never have a clue until then. Land. I hate this game. What is that card over there? Incubation Druid. You know this card? Uh -uh. I don't know anything about new sets. Whatever. Thank you. What DM Harnack? Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, that's the wrong one. Oh, wow, you're complete. Okay, that's. Oh, they just treacheried our tireless tracker. Rude. That was actually rude. Do they not have a fifth land? They don't have a fifth any. Oh, they have two tireless trackers. Get out of town. Oh, I'm just going to go to the next game. We can't even have fourth land and they're double tireless trackering over here. Just give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yeah. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. This Wicker Battle Elder should be in the main deck, dude. Like, every time I'm like, can I go to Wicker Battle Elder? You want a beast for them? No. Do Why do you hate good cards? I hate you. Good for you. Thank you. What? That's going to be a yikes for me, though. That's a real yikes for me, dude. Post some of these bad boys up in here. Submit. Remember that time our opponent's like, good luck, and I was like, oh, thanks, I'll have good luck, and then I didn't have good luck, and then he was like, have fun, and I'm like, oh, thanks, I'll have fun, and then I didn't have fun. Do you remember that? I do. God, you look so weird with those freaking glasses. <laughs> Michael, what? even my friend on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn? No. Dang. But on Facebook, sure. But on LinkedIn, hell no. You can get out of here with your weirdo. I also don't have a LinkedIn, so. Well, maybe that's why you're stuck in the same dead-end job. Because of LinkedIn? Yeah, right. No. <laughs> why are you so god dang weird? Genetics, I bet. What if they kill my Lotus Cobra again? What if we don't hit a third land again? <laughs> Come on, land. I, I, a fetch land would be great here, but we don't have any in our deck, so I don't think we're going to draw any, but it'd be sweet if we did. Tell you what, 11 secret herbs and spices. If you make me a LinkedIn, then I'll be friends with you on it. Yeah. Be Mike's friend. Also, if you guys haven't done so, definitely go check out coolstuffinc.com. You can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. And you can go comment on today's article that I put up. It is about my, my hopes for Modern Horizons. It is some of the cards I would love to see in that set. So... He killed our little snaky boy. This is really rude. Especially because... Did they discard? Oh, and they took Arthur the Breach. Hey. 
Hey! It was the rhythm of the wild. Is one of them a Gothian enchantress? You know it's not. You even commented. Unless two people literally commented that same thing, in which case, that'd be weird. They got taigas and scalding tarns? What is this, four color nonsense? Just stop it. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Don't threaten me with a good time. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We can make Legion War Boss a 3 3, but then the, the clone only becomes a 2 2. So the clone. <laughs> I'm just going to actually put a counter on this guy. What are we eating, man? My dad's. Your dad's? Is he going to make some chili? Yeah. He, he's, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be chili. <laughs> it's so random, but sure. Ch -ch -ch chili of the night. Whoa. Mike B. Oh, you're just going to steal my guy again. That's. I wish you would stop doing that. That's uh, kind of annoying, yeah. Oh. Oh, Mike B. You got something in my eye. I hope it's a booger. Wow. I hope you have a booger in your eye. How that even be possible? You know how it's possible. Can boogers travel up through your eye? Yours can. <laughs> <laughs> can they? Yeah, because you're gross as hell. Got them. Well, this is very upsetting. You're upsetting. I'm just going to play Secure Tri Builder because I just want to... Does it even matter? Do any of these matter? Does anything matter? Because next turn I want to be able to draw a land, play Rampaging Bailoth, crack, get a land, play the Bailoth, put a land into play, and crack it, and Bailoth, and I'll make a beast, and a Bailoth beast, and I'll crack that, and I'll play the land. And that's what I just want to do. What, do. Now? what are you doing? Scratching your little leg? Yes, I'm scratching my little oh, leg. Oh, I have a little leg itch. Yeah, I have a little leg itch. It's so... I have a, ba I have a sore on my leg. <laughs> I don't have a sore just because I have an itch. Don't be sore about it. It's fine. I just want my tireless tracker back. Did you just Ruger Nass? I have no idea what that even means. I don't think those are even human words. I think you're speaking like a foreign language of some sort. Come on, fetch land one time. That's what we're talking about. Uh, haste. Oh, always yes, always yield. Don't care about that. Get them. I'm gonna get them. And then they're gonna treachery. Oh, they're just gonna kill it on the spot. I hope they dismember it. Oh, the assassins trophied it. That's really sad. Well, at least we got one beastie boy out of it. Thank goodness for that. Mm. Stealing our tireless tracker every single game is pretty... It's pretty stains, as the kids say. You got pre-stains? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, that was loud. You're loud. Okay, what can we even draw here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We st we're like one away from a... We need a spell that says get all your creatures back that your opponent stole. Let's start. That's not, that's not too far. Oh, and we can... Oh, they're just going to counter it. Oh, they didn't counter it. 1-1 one, one counter? Uh, Pretty good with persist. Yeah, oh, it's, it gets great with persist. Does it matter though right now? I think haste. No, I don't want to. Uh, no, I want to. I want to haste it. I don't know what I want to do. It's one one counter. Because we're not going to attack. So. Oh, it can't be countered. I literally always forget that. I literally every time I will forget that they can't be countered. Oh, is that part of rhythm? Yeah, creatures can't be countered. Oh, now they kill it. That's rude. 
Only I can have the good toys. It's okay, they're just gonna treachery this Woodfall Primus. They do have that card. This 2-3 that's been getting them like an infinite land value is pretty nuts. Yeah, it's a good card. I agree with you. No offense, huh? Rude. So four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to three, and then we're probably dead here. So that's pretty cool. You just taking two in there. We block at the four, four. Yeah, we're dead. Yep, that was. I had a fun. I did. I had. I had luck and fun in these games. <laughs> I had luck and fun. I feel lucky and and fun. I feel lucky and ducky. No, you don't. And trucky. Lucky and ducky and trucky. You know, because all my trucks. Tell me about your trucks, Michael. I have so many of them. How many do you have? The best trucks. That's not the question best I have. Best trucks in the world. Okay. Are they huge? Are they huge <laughs> trucks? Yeah, they're huge. I have the best trucks. You know what we always say in New Jersey? I'm, I'm walking, walking over here. Isn't that New York? No, it's, it's New Jersey. I'm pretty sure it's New York. It might be New York. <laughs> it's one of the two. It's New York. I like the same place. Yeah, that's true. I can't argue with that. All the all the New Jersey and New York people are going to be so triggered right now. <laughs> triggered. Oh, man. All right. Let's try to 2-1 again, and I'll be okay with it. I grew up in New Jersey and live in New York City, and I don't care. Perfect. My grandma feels trucky. I don't know what that means, but... All right, I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to feel weird about it, but I'm going to do it. Are you texting your mom? No. What did she say? <laughs> I'm not texting my mom. We're playing against Dalkery. Unless there's another Dalkery. Uh, no. What's your mom saying, dude? I'm not texting my mom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Dang, man. you were right. About what? It's, he's from Brooklyn. Yeah, of course. It's from New York. Did your mom tell you that when you were texting her? Oh, <laughs> no, I was looking up the reference from Wick and Morty. God. From Wick and Morty? From Wick and I Morty. was looking up Wick and Morty references. Ha ha ha. No, he makes that cute sly smile when he's talking to his mom. That's why you... I was looking up the Wefwins. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Do we just... I think we just green sun here for a dude. For a birdie boy. Cause it gets shuffled in anyway, man. What's what's the worst that can happen, my dude? They're too busy walking over here. You know what we say in New York? I'm walking over uh, here. It's Brooklyn. Well, they say it in New York, though. <laughs> oh God! Just let my guy survive. That's all I want. That's all I want, dude. Hey, Mike. So how do your mom for me? Oh, Zumi Tacos. Yeah, no problem. Can you say how it works for me too? Yeah. Can you call her right now and we'll just all say how it works at the same time? Yeah, yeah, we could probably arrange that. This one will be like, oh, I'm sorry, my phone's hey, dead. Mike's mom. I can't, can't make a call. Phone's dead. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> she won't even be able to see that. I'll make her. I'll make her. We'll see. do FaceTime. <laughs> FaceTime with Mike B and his and mom. Frank and his mom. And then I'm like, hey, Mike B's mom, I'm walking over here. Oh, you're going to do this. And she'll be like, that is what they say in New York. It's okay. We're going to draw Xenagos. Are you ready? Yeah, exhale. I did. Uh. Hey, Mike. Hey, come over here. 
Mike, come here. Mike, come over here. Come on. Mike's walking over here. I'm Vivian reading over here. I'm killing this guy over here. Now we both have five mana planeswalkers that have a negative ability that destroys a thing and a positive ability that draws you a card. Yep, this is getting out of hand. I'm walking over here, Michael. <laughs> Remember the same episode they shot Mr. Poopy Butthole? Yeah, that was your that was the same episode. <laughs> Beth, why would you shoot Mr. Poopy Butthole? He's sorry you didn't have any bad memories of him. <laughs> Beth, I'm sorry you didn't have any bad memories of me. Oh good. Oh good. Just two planeswalkers too many. And Tammy was really good in this cube. Did, like, Paul take out all the friggin' answers for Planeswalkers? Like, is there Hero's Downfall? Like, instead of Hero's Downfall and, like, um, ruin the other one, like, instead now you have, like, ne like you still have Necrotals and Bone Shredders? Like, I don't get it. I mean, I'm walking over here is really what I'm trying to say, you know? Brother, we kill three of our own lands and make a million power. Well, I was I was more thinking. Oh, actually, Woodfall Primus. He just comes back. Yes, Michael. Oh, and it gets haste too. Uh huh. Oh boy. I think I'm more concerned with Tamio. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're gonna get killed both anyway, so. I guess we'll see. This is actually, don't call this a comeback. Holy smokers. I'm going to persist and I'm going to get rid of this Chromial Anti Boy. I feel like that's uh, that was a decent recovery. This is where they just hard cast Crystal Brand. Hmm, toxic daily for five. Sure. Sure. Now it is I who has the, the double planeswalkers. Well, he could counter it. He won't. You know how I know? Don't know, actually. He will. Oh, wow. Did you not have that last turn? Did you just top deck that? Because, like, wouldn't you have countered the through the breach? If we had rhythm out, that'd be pretty nuts, yeah. Well. Boy, this is just haymaker after hay. It's gonna be tooth and nail. It's green sun. That's actually pretty good. Uh so one, two, three. So we can just get a five. I don't know what we have, but it's probably better than actually, depending on what we have, I might just want to get Wicker Bow Elder and kill this that do anything not really they have a million mana still. what do our fives do like do we, if we just don't have any fives then yeah we have acidic slime but he's in the graveyard so right yeah i don't know what our fives are tracker seems fine yeah tracker would be okay i'm just gonna go for four and i'm gonna assume it's fine and we don't have anything broken at f five that we just not that we're just not thinking of green warden bayloth no, literally no fives. So, yeah, we'll just get Tracker here. Wicker Bell's probably in the sideboard, I guess. Yeah. Yeah.
You, you're disgusting. You pig! You're a disgusting pig! Calm down. Sir, I'm going to need you to calm down. Oh, this is the game. We just won the game. Wow, what a swingy game, dude. Holy. Holy guacamole. So, Beast Within... I mean, you might be right about Beast Within just because it does kill walkers and those seem to be really obnoxious. What do you do? Exile the creature. Real top three penny or non-land permanents real this way into your hand. Yeah, I don't think it's worth. It's not. We don't have the thing for it. Wicker Ball gets rid of Chromatic Lantern and Worn Power Stone, so we're definitely bringing those in. I'll take out the Terastanon. Why? Because we got to cut things. What, all right, what are, you, what are we cutting? Uh, Vivian's not that good here. How is it? How? Oh, yeah, her minus. I forgot about that. Even her plus draws you cards. Uh, I can see cutting Guru Kronos. Really? That just won us the game. They don't have a lot of ways to deal with Planeswalkers. I would, I'm not cutting Planeswalkers against them. That's insane. Then how about... Like, this is 40. Like, where I cut Legion Warboss and Terastanon because I don't think we need 7,008 drops. Uh, Green Warden seems great because if you have, like, a Beast Within or a Vraska in your graveyard, you can just get it back. Like, it's it's basically Eternal Witness, which I think is really yeah, strong. I cut that. I could see cutting Baylos, but I just, I'd rather play a Baylos than a, than a Terastodon. This is brutal. Yeah, the thing is, Terastodon also kills Planeswalkers, which is the upside. Yes, keep. Yeah, that's true, but it costs 8 mana, too. So, like, I mean, ideally, well, I, when I'm able to either put a Terastodon into play, I'll just have something else that does that as well. I think Terastodon's actually, like, 9 mana. You mean? How do you mean? I thought it was nine mana. No, it costs eight. It costs the same as Woodfall Promise. Really? Yes, it is eight mana. I feel like you get a much bigger effect out of Terasty, though. I mean, they're two different cards. I, I was going to look for my deck. I'm like, let me go to my collection and find my deck. You're countering my... Wow. Wow! Wait till this guy comes down. Then they're dead. You'll be dead! I have the death sentence on 12 systems. Now I'll be careful. You alright, man? Excuse me? I asked if you were okay because you, you hit your mic, you hit the mic with your hand. So it was I was moving the mic closer to my mouth. With, you just bopped it? Yeah. Huh. It's good stuff. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Jason on the empty board, eh? Seems pretty, pretty good. Ooh, that'll show him. <laughs> I mean, it attacks. It attack. He protect. He wear a... Wear a... Turtleneck. He wear a turtleneck. Yeah, you can still view sideboard. Joke's on you. That's a whiff, boy. Boy. Do they bounce this guy? If they bounce it, we don't have a fifth lane. Okay. Okay, we're just going to bounce and don't do the thing. Wow, they're just going to kill it. I see. Well, here's come, here comes a land. You ready? Land. Or beast within. I will also take a beast within. Any of those... Any of those stupid Pluto Delta to get rid of the bad cards there's no justice in the world Michael you should know that dang it oh they're just oh they're just fate sealing us I see that's a good sign oh they left a card on top 
That's very how nice, nice of them. How nice of them. What a what a damn saint. Boom, 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 did they let's keep it again. Yes, yes, they did. I bet it won't be a land. I bet it won't be anything good. That's oh, that's perfect. They're basically dead now. Why would you give this to us? Now you're dead. You can't win now. And now we'll have seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 nailed it. I'm going to scoop now because they have a card called Jace the Mind Sculptor and Grave Titan on the board and we don't have anything. So. You're also on a two turn clock, so there's that. Thank you. Tell me more about the two turn clock. Thank there's you. There's nothing more to tell, really. Dang, tell me more. Not Papa Perky. Thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Are you okay with your nose? Yeah. I never, I've never met someone who chooses to move a microphone with their nose because it feels very weird to me. Well, then I'd have to use my hands, so that's what more efficient yeah my, my nose is more efficient hmm. no I meant your hands would be more efficient because it actually you know what just forget it didn't I have to look my hand all the way up to the mic are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me god make it a work out why don't you Got him. <sighs> Got him. Oh, this hand looks great. This is the most beautiful hand I've ever seen. I wish that crag was a... Uh, a stomper? Yeah. Same. But I'll accept it. You know why? Because that's is life. the rhythm of the night? No, that doesn't make any sense. Don't be stupid. So I think it's actually safer to play this, and then we can play rhythm the following turn. Maybe not. Yeah, but don't you want to flip him? I don't, I don't care. Actually, I'll just play this guy. I don't care. The thing, the thing is, the upside is if we draw another forest, we get to play Vivian Reed, and I think that's much bigger than... Oh, yes. Forest off the top. It'll be a bayou, because I'm from the future. That's fine as well. So can we go, we can go one, two, three to put this guy face down. We can use this for two to flip it. No, we're just gonna play Vivian Reed. Skip it, skip it, skip it, and then a bop de bop. And the very best thing of all, there's a Michael on this ball. I think I just want the forest here. Maybe we can meet the very man part. Maybe Mike can take a whole lot more. So good talk. <laughs> you slowly turning to look at the camera with those freaking glasses on, man. Dan it, 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 dan it. Toxic Deluge for one. The damage is already done, my friend. Oh, sure. What do you do when you have two uh, two Planeswalkers to your opponents? Nothing. You win the game. Sure. It's a long rhythm in the wild. Man, this Carnage Tyrant was gonna be gonna be beefy next turn, boy. Also, I feel like this is probably one of their few answers to a Carnage Tyrant, so that's nice. It has Hexproof and it can't be countered, Michael. Is that so? Oh my god, do we just get to ultimate Vivian Reed next turn? Are they going to steal it? Oh god, can you imagine if they... Let's make sure they don't do that. They this, don't, and they're pretty dead. This is my Hasidic slime. Hasidic? I got so engrossed in cleaning and watching the stream and completely forgot to place the food order for my job. Oh, God, that's no good. 
Thank you. Don't lose your job over this. Durzo, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. You're definitely more rude than I am. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, I said, bu oh, buddy, not Bucky. Good game, Bucky. Thanks. And thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon and Mana Traders. You will get 20% off with the link and the promo code in the description below. 20% off your first three months. And also check out Cool Stuff, Inc.com and use Frank5 and you will get 5% off your order. And MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. If you're looking for any way to support the stream or if you're looking for any of these products anyway, if you need cards, if you want a sweet service to rent physical paper decks or MTGO decks, or if you need underwear. Definitely check those things out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.